This pass is situated in, uh, in a valley between the two mountain ridges and the mountains over here are really steep so therefore the accumulation of snow makes it for very uh, high avalanche risk area. This is the only part of Canada that one of the soldiers deploy to support the uh, avalanche control. This is a C3 howitzer. Uh, this howitzer is uh, a little bit older. It was purchased in the uh, 1960s, but it stands the test of time. It's very depend dependable and very accurate. When this uh, area was chosen to be the transportation corridor for the Trans-Canada Highway, uh, it was uh, recognized because of this disaster that this is a very significant area in terms of hazard because of avalanches. So at that time they knew that it would be a, a difficult uh, pass to keep open and a difficult area to operate in and that's why so much engineering and uh, was put uh, in place in terms of structures and earthen defenses as well as the uh, artillery control program. Parks Canada does the snow science and the forecasting, deciding when and where we need to do avalanche control. And the Department of National Defense provides the C3 howitzers and the soldiers to fire those howitzers and control avalanches in a safe manner. Uh, myself, uh, it's just part of the drill. It's like normal reaction for the newer guys. This is their first deployment over here, first mission, first domestic mission. For them, this is going to be a lot of excitement, and they want to see that round go down range. Bearing 2156. Intermission 606. Angle 2812. How much do you enjoy this? A lot. This is a nice, good break, nice scenery. Just hopefully, we'll get to fire some bullets soon. <laughs>